So right here, uh, I was rewatching an old video uh, that I left a comment on a while back. And I just want to go over this because this is the worst bow tutorial I have ever seen. Like, no offense to you, dude, but um, if I let's go to the let's go to the duels that WTF went on. If we put in your username Double Blade, um, oh, let's see here. You have a uh, sixteen wins and a zero point five three win loss ratio, which is uh not very good. Congratulations on your two win streak, by the way, and your three best. So I feel. Granted, I'm not the best bow player. I'm not anywhere near the best bow player, but I am a top 100 in wins, so I'd like to think I have at least a little bit more uh, experience than you do in this mode. And I will make my own guide soon, by the way, but I just want to go over this one because of how bad it is. Hello, everybody. Welcome back to another video. Today, I will be teaching you guys how to get better at bow duels. I will be covering all the steps and showcasing it all together at the end. Let's hop into it. First up, we have strafing. Strafing is a very important skill to know when you are playing bow duels. That's it's true. very, very valuable when it comes to not dying. There are different types of strafing that I will get into later. The main thing you need to know is left, right, left, right. This might be the biggest mistake of the entire video. This is completely and totally wrong. Left, right, left, right in the bow duels community and just in general is known as the worst strafing technique because all of the nons do it. All of the dumb players do it. No good player strafes left, right, left, right because it's a super, super, super predictable. Please don't do this. Every time you strafe, you want to be able to get at least one bow shot before you strafe again. Another very valuable thing to note is getting chain hits on strafers. Most people that play bow duels know how to strafe. That's if you want true. to get chains on them like, like this, you. you will just want to shoot the bow to the opposite direction of where they are. Um, let me demonstrate to you what uh, that would look like real quick. So I'm going to do what he said. Uh, well, I'm going to shoot in the opposite direction of him. So let's go up to this guy and oh shoot it didn't work after the first one you should be set if you know a lot about minecraft bow physics you should be able to hit a target from anywhere as long as it is not moving if you all right let's let's try that you know what yeah let's try that let, let's open let's open a world and uh, let's let's try this let's see if this is true let's say i want to hit this block right here so i'm gonna get rid of all the others So I want to hit this red block. So apparently, if you're a good bow player, you should be able to hit this from anywhere. So let's see. Let's line it up. Look, I hit it. Oh, look, look, I'm not moving my mouse and it's hitting in a different spot every time. Isn't that odd? The best bow player in the world will not always hit a target, especially from farther away. Look, that is just not how it works. That's just factually wrong by this as if you get hit while strafing they will expect you to move back and strafe again then why are you saying to strafe left right left right i might get them to think you will do it again if you see them looking back move the same direction yet again this will allow you to confuse them in a strategical way that may look random doing this can start a chain and it will let you get a big damage hit in on the player that pearls to you that's called a critical shot you see these little yeah. particles when doing this gives you a huge back. advantage no, not there. Being a big part of the reason you don't want right to Right there, use those particles mean they're doing the most damage they can. Maybe you queued a hacker? There are lots of scenarios that could happen. Okay. Happen that result to you losing. But bow duels takes practice. It is either you face a high pixel level 20-ish or a level 200. And if you look at that, look, I'm a bow main and I am level 109, which is... Which is one level away from exactly between the two of those. You could physically not be more wrong. With the exception of hackers, it takes practice. Lots of practice. The rest you can beat hackers with practice. This video will be showcasing some of these skills. Enjoy. 